Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Keith Thurman has sent Terrence Crawford a warning about 147. He told him that 147 is a big difference from 140. Really? Well, he's right. It is. There are a lot more elite fighters at 147 when compared to 140. However, Bud could do nothing but laugh at Keith Thurman because he's a lame, one. And two, Terrence Crawford said, well, why don't you just fight me and show me? Paraphrasing, that's basically what he was insinuating, right? Calling Keith Thurman out. Now, Keith Thurman is right. Things are different at 147 than at 140 because at 147, you've got a guy with two belts who's ducking, who's ducked, who looks for opportunities, who doesn't appease his fans by fighting. You got a guy who fakes injuries. You got a guy who lies, shows his fear in public of Errol Spence. Just an overall guy who I can't really rock with anymore, you know? I used to like Keith Thurman when he was brash talking crazy, talking reckless, when he was actually one time, but now we call him once upon a time, once upon a time he used to get knockouts, and now he gets decisions, close decisions at that too, last couple of fights were kind of close, they were step ups though, but they were close, now I'm not sure if I have to go back in time and highlight some very questionable things that Keith Thurman's done, which makes me not believe him today when he says he's injured and out, talking about he got an elbow injury with debris in his arm. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Talking about you got debris in your arm? What are you, what are you talking about? Did a grenade go off? You get shrapnel in your arm? Like, what happened? You know, you didn't even want to fight Sean Porter, to be honest. You faked that car accident, remember that? Couldn't provide us with any evidence that you actually got into a car accident. In fact, Kenny Porter said that there were no reported crashes in the area where this alleged car accident happened. There were no pictures, nothing. Micro tears, micro fractures in your neck. Like, I've never heard of such things. It doesn't exist. Well, they do exist. It's not when Keith Thurman applies it to himself, right? But he did go on to beat Sean Porter. He went on to beat Danny Garcia, which were two good wins, and did cement his legacy at 147, right? So he's the top dog, whether you hate it or love it. He's the top dog at 147. But the fact still remains that he cowers in fear whenever he hears the name Errol Spence. Now, he even said Errol Spence isn't on his radar, right? For the foreseeable future. And I doubt he'd want to fight Terrence Crawford. They're going to be watching Terrence Crawford. They're going to be watching, you know, whether or not Terrence Crawford gets that fight with um, TBE. Jeff Horn, right? They're going to be watching to see how he goes because truth be told, Jeff Horn is a lot bigger than Terrence Crawford. He's super aggressive. I mean, for a guy moving up from 140 to 147, we'll see how he acclimates when it comes to the weight. Last I heard, he was like 170 or something like that, right? But we'll see. I mean, I, I pick him to beat Jeff Horn. I'm not sure if he's going to look impressive. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That is if Jeff Warren doesn't decide to duck because he's asking for $5 million. Way too much money. Money that he doesn't deserve. Selling his belt for $5 million. It is what it is. But Terrence Crawford is next up, whether you guys want to believe it or not. He has a chance at beating Spence. I think he beats Keith Thurman pretty handily. I mean, I'm not sure what else you guys want from Bud. Like, people hate Terrence Crawford because he's being promoted by Bob Arum. But 
why hate? I mean, Bob Arum is, I mean, Bob Arum ain't that bad. I mean, he promoted Floyd, De La Hoya. Like, he, he promoted a lot of fighters who became huge, right? He's promoting Shakur Stevenson. Like, I don't see anything wrong with the promotional work he's done with Bud, Lomachenko, and a lot of you know what I'm saying? I don't see any problems. So, the only issue I see is the fact that we're probably not going to see too many of these crossover fights with Terrence Crawford. Like, Terrence Crawford can say whatever he wants to. Keith Thurman can say whatever he wants to. But when it comes down to two, these two parties fighting, it's it's kind of a hard fight to make. Especially if it's not perceived as huge by either party, right? Because none of these guys are really big names. None of these guys are really big names, so. I don't know. I, I got Terrence Crawford slapping the ponytail, slapping the braids, knocking them braids out of Keith Thurman's head, man. Parting that one eyebrow with an uppercut. That's how I see it happening. But Terrence Crawford just laughs at Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman's a joke. He's a comedian. He's a clown. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with Keith. I'm not sure what Keith's planning on doing with his career. I mean, he's got the fight with Jesse Vargas coming up probably. I think they're negotiating, right? I'm not sure if that fight's signed, sealed, or delivered. I know it's an easy fight to make because Vargas is with Al Heyman, PBC. Then he's got to fight Sean Porter, right? Then he's going to want to fight Danny Garcia, right? He's never going to get a chance to fight Terrence Crawford or Spence, man. Spence and Terrence Crawford are going to end up fighting each other before either of them get a chance to fight Keith Thurman, man. It's sad. So, in 2018, I predict Keith Thurman stops Jesse Vargas to make people feel like he's one time again. And then... You know what? Then he'll take on the fight with Sean Porter. Then he's going to fake an injury so he can't fight a third time in 2018. 2019 comes around the corner. That WBC welterweight tournament should be over with. And whoever has won, I'm sure Keith Thurman will cherry pick that person. Like This dude's fights are lined up for the next two, three years, man. And Errol Spence and Keith and um, Sean, wait, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are not in the mix here. Don't be fooled. All right? Keith Thurman is a snake. But y'all love him, though. Hitman Boxing. Drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, dislike the video, I could care less. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless worlds I wanna be free from the army of clouds I dream about a month ago while I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house. That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go. So I booked it. Couple friends took it personal. Like, why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro. It was unintentional. Conversations with myself. I need a hospital. 
I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track in the midst of the world. Someone who could see me Surrounded by clouds Free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless Roads I want to be free From this army Of 